Morning. <coughs> Gotta clean myself here, ain't I? <laughs> oh dear. I'm at my favourite place again. I don't need that, do I? <coughs> oh. Wood all services. Yeah, baby. I'm on my way to a place in Pontifrat, according to this law, but. Uh, I thought it was going to be one particular place that I'd been to before, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. Sounds good to me, that does. So, on goes the twat nav, as you do. See what I'll do, I'll give that a bit of an order. A bit, a bit off that I think. Yeah. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's better. I like it like that. And today I am going to subject you into me scoffing my breakfast. Because you've obviously missed it, I can tell. Just by looking at it, I can tell you've missed it. Matthew was trying to catch me out with a question in Ghostbusters yesterday. Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> Friday. Yay. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice day today, as in regards as work wise. I'm hoping it's a relatively easy day. I said to you that it was, um, I thought it was a place that I'd been to before. It looks like it might actually be fucking next door to it by the looks of it. Yeah, bonus. Mm. Well, I'll say it is, though, it's Friday, end of the week, when I get home. Depending on what time it is I get home, I might finish off putting those slabs in, same we do on Saturday, because then Saturday I can have a go at, um, if I'm up to it, tidy my front room up. Done the kitchen the other week, so it's time to do the front room, I think. <coughs> so I might do that. And then um, get all my stuff ready together for the uh, Sunday car boot. Yeah. Car boot. Mm -hmm. I didn't go last week because um, I wasn't too sure on the weather, which turned out to be a good idea because of what I did in the back garden. So, um, I'm hoping to uh, do uh, okay again. I mean, I might not, but um, I'll be boundless if I do.
<coughs> when I got home yesterday, because I, I was contemplating whether to have a, um, my chicken wrap from Mackey's. I thought, do you know what? No, I want to go home and have myself a wrap when I get in. So I made myself a couple of chicken wraps and what have you. And then I'll come up with an idea. I thought, oh, I know I'll try. <coughs> so I got myself some rice, same ones in the bag where you stick it in the microwave. Warm that up. Got myself a tin of tuna. Mix a bit of mayo in with it. And a bit of pepper as well. You have to put mayo and pepper. It's just a ticket that there that now. And a um, <coughs> couple of spoonfuls of rice, dollop of the old um, tuna mayo. And I'll tell you what, that's really nice, that is. You can even uh, spice it up as well by adding a bit of, um, a bit of, I oh know, I've got this uh, hot pepper sauce, so I use that. Or you can have Tabasco. I mean, I really like Tabasco, so I might even go and get myself some of that yet. But this hot um, pepper thing I've got at the moment is really nice. But this morning, my stomach's going fucking nuts with all sorts of indigestion feeling, and it's like sore, and I'm getting a bit of a the flashback like you know so I think I might have had done it on the old uh, spices I reckon <laughs> but on its own just the tuna and the, and the rice I tell you what that's a nice combo that is hmm so I might do it again tonight when I get in very nice I'll take a picture of it later when I swing it if I remember I'll take a picture and I'll show you <laughs> it's good, I'll tell you honestly. You might think not, but I'll tell you it is. And it's healthy. Can't argue. Mm. And thinking of food as well. <laughs> I have finally, oh, finally come off a chocolate binge. I actually stood <coughs> stood in this shop the other day, right next to all the chocolates, and I was like, <coughs> do you know what? Nah. Oh dear. <coughs> it's stuck. <coughs> I went, nah. I didn't want none. And then I was like, normally I'll give, well, I'll have that, I'll have that. But now. Nah. So I finally, finally cracked it. Oh, it was driving me insane. <laughs> it really was. But uh, yes, we are now out of the chocolate binge. Oh, finally. I don't feel the craving anymore. I don't feel the, like the, the, that need to go and grab myself a bar of chocolate or whatever. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's such a relief. And the best of it is, though, because I've, this has been like the last, I don't know, about a week now. Um, even my weight's starting to drop down back and it's levelling off again now so nice I'm back with the I was on about 13.1 so I'm now, I'm now down to 12.12 uh, 12 now so thank fuck for that hey summertime's coming I've got to get myself looking good now I? <laughs> I can't ruin it now I've done all this fucking work hmm You wouldn't believe how hard it was been to try and get off this fucking chocolate shit. Fuck me, Christ. Unbelievable. Giving up smoking was easier. Like I said, I've nailed it now. Nailed it. Mm mm mm. What have I got on the clock? Oh! You've got to go. I'm going to bog off. I'll speak to you later. If I get a chance. <sighs> okay. Me and Ezra are more mouse ready to uh, get this video sorted out. Just going to adjust the quality of touch. Okay. Change the audio a bit. I think we're done. Okay. Right. 
I do have a question though because uh, Matty had um, a question about Ghostbusters, didn't you, Matthew? Didn't you? And I, uh, I was uh, rather adamant that I wanted to know the answer because I'd, uh, I had put my guess in, and I was right. So here's one for you. Um, we all love the uh, Back to the Future series. Um, but I'm in Back to the Future. And the old lady, she's waving her flies around going, Save the clock tower, save the clock tower. And we all know what happens next. But my question is, does anybody know what Doc Brown's red letter date was? There's one for you. What was Doc Brown's red letter date? Just a quickie.